Flair is brought to you by Cheez-It. And we start in Colorado. We've Colorado. seen them play this week already. <laughs> yeah, that's how you say it. That's how they say it. Colorado. That's how locals say it. Colorado. Sure. Yeah. Travis Hunter, HD. Uh, what did you see out of him in that matchup? A top five pick in the NFL draft in 2025. You talk about the stamina and the guy that can just play offense, defense, make miraculous plays, make unbelievable catches. He is a highlight reel. He is someone that is, number one, he doesn't party, he doesn't drink, he doesn't worry about all that. When I talked to Coach Prime on my radio show, Freddie and Harry, he, I asked him, I said, young Deion Sanders versus Travis Hunter. Ooh. And he said, Travis Hunter is by far the better player. It's not even close. Yeah. Wow. I love that. I feel like we should try to see if Harry can do what Travis Hunter does in the end zone. Also, love that LeBron James was also watching, which I didn't know he watched college football. He always in everything. I mean, he might not. We know <laughs> he's, he's, he's an LeBron's been known to lie. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, he tweeted, man, Travis Hunter is ridiculous. So shout he's out to King for that. watching a little college football. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Mizzou's Brady Cook. He threw yes. for 218 yards with touchdowns running Notre Dame in a run. I don't know what that says. No. <laughs> to lead Mizzou to a 51 to nothing win over Murray State, which we talked about a little bit earlier. Uh, what did you see out of him? He's really good. He, and I, and I say that in the sense that he had a good game. Yeah. He was still disappointed with himself because he didn't hit on some of the deep balls that he thought he would. This is a team, again, we talked about this receiving core. Luther Burton, obviously great. Theo Weiss, Marquise Johnson is a name that you might end up hearing by the time the end of the year comes up. If they think if he really matures, he's the fastest guy that they've got on the field. They're really excited about him. But he is the type of leader. He's a hometown kid, really had to earn his stripes out there at Mizzou. This is a team that has been on a two-year build, basically, and they put it all together very quickly. Like, that game was over in the first six-ish minutes, uh, so kudos to them. Uh, I do want to shout out really fast. Lee Corso, he's back. He wasn't in Ireland with us last week. He is back. So great to see him back on the road with us. Um, okay, so going into this season, HD, this college football season, unlike any other, who do you think you need to see the most out of this season? For me, I'm going to go to Penn State's quarterback, Drew Allen. Okay. And I remember us being at the game last year versus Ohio State, and I'm saying to myself, when are things going to open up offensively for mm -hmm. Penn State? And I think this year has to be that year. He has two phenomenal running backs. Yep. Mm -hmm. But at some point, you need him at the quarterback position to be the guy that he was highly rated coming out of high school. So James Franklin, open it up for Drew Allard so he could be dynamic across the board, especially in the past game because they have not been that in the past. And for me, it's there's two very simple ones here. One is whoever starts a quarterback for Michigan, right? I mean, like that that defense is still going to be one of the five best in the country. If you are the quarterback of this team, obviously you got Donovan Edwards. Mm -hmm. You just you got there's a there's a threshold of what four touchdowns you got to score, and you're in every single ball game. And then when we talk about that, there are three games on their schedule that we keep talking about where if they get one, you're a playoff team again. So whoever's quarterback for them, and then Jackson Dart. There's going to be games this year on their schedule. Hey, you might have to go out and win some of those for them. So he's already been good. He's already been great. He's improved every single year. He's been at Oxford. But there's going to be some games, perhaps that Georgia game, where he's going to have to outdo Carson Beck. All right, those are your Crunch Time players brought to you by Cheez-It.